it would be really nice to have a working tachometer on this tractor mainly because when I want to run implements like my brush hog I'd like to turn it at the proper RPMs so uh, looking at this thing it uh, seems pretty obvious to me that water has gotten in here over the years and that's probably what's caused the failure uh, I doubt I'll ever be able to get these gauges to work and the bulbs are actually a separate component they just pop in here so I'm not too worried about that uh, if I can get the mechanical tack to work though that would be kind of nice and I might be able to just clean the glass up enough alternative to this would be to replace this entire unit uh, problem is seems like most of the units that I find aftermarket ones online they're different than this one uh, this one has you can see the bulb layout There's two bulbs in the top and two bulbs in the bottom and you can see that the tachometer has a clockwise rotation. Um, a lot of the ones that I find online, they have uh, counterclockwise rotation. So the needle is over here for zero and it sweeps this way as it goes up. Also, most of them tend to have these two indicator, these two gauges up a little bit higher and then a row of four lights across. So this one appears to be different. I, I haven't searched very long I'm sure if I look long enough I could probably find one uh, but the other issue is that uh, they all tend to be running over two hundred dollars so I figured what the heck since it's junk anyways I figure I can't break it any worse so luckily these four screws right here are actually coming out pretty pretty easily that one because they have so much gunk in it that I can't even get the screwdriver in. So there must be some sort of sealant or something that they use. Yeah, it's supposed to keep the, there we go, it's a gasket. This part, this rubber boot right here, unfortunately is uh, no longer available. So um, what I'll probably end up doing is just taking a flat piece of rubber and figuring out a way to mount it into this thing and just cut a slit because uh i'm not going to be able to find anything molded to this exact shape as this was all right the back here uh clearly says ac which uh i'm wondering if that's ac delco made in england you can just hear the stuff oh here we go here's the here's the label right here uh so this is a uh Again, made in England, AC. And there's a C7NN, 10849C. And then there's a 7975145, space C3. So I'm not sure which of these are part numbers. C7NN, 10849. So apparently the correct part number is c 7 n N one zero eight four nine C. Now I'm finding a lot of C five N N numbers coming up. This one is made in England, and I think this only has two warning lights, and then these two lights up here, I, I think, are just for backlighting this at night. But when I Google that part number, the majority of the ones that come up are all the same and they show four lights going across the bottom and on the back side they actually show that there are the two lights up top for backlighting and four lights going across the bottom but then I happen to spot this one now that's a overseas dealer makes sense right if it's a English made tractor probably sold a lot in Europe and that looks like my correct one right there well I did find one seller on eBay that has one that looks like the right one um, and that part number is a C5NN10849M C5NN and it also says it's a 10849L but again C5NN so I don't know what to make of it uh, so what the heck let's open this up shake some of that uh, crud out of there and just see how bad this is.
The other unfortunate thing about the one, uh, the one seller on eBay who seems to have the correct looking one is it's a seller in India and they call themselves something like uh, reliable something blah blah not reliable tractor parts reliable something but uh, they've got a 96 percent rating which uh, i don't know if they do a huge amount of volume i guess that's not horrible especially if you start looking you know at the feedback and realizing that maybe a lot of the feedback is just delayed shipping which you know Anytime you're ordering something from that far away, those things can happen, especially in this day and age. Oh. <laughs> wow. Yeah. That is wild. Huh. Uh, I'm going to go uh, knock this out over the trash. <laughs> so, just to show you the anatomy of this thing. So, this is glass, not plastic. And uh, this actually is metal. The cast metal piece. Um, and then this was metal. And it actually is completely disintegrated. So that's complete junk. There was also the remnants of, you can see a little piece of it here, of some sort of uh, almost like a gasket in here. That must have been partly what was responsible for keeping the water from getting in here. And then also there was this... Uh, Took it off on this side, but you can still see it's here. This this is like a piece of tape, which yeah, it's just falling off. So if I am able to get that tack to actually work, which is going to be a real long shot, I figure I'll just clean up this glass and put this back together and uh, run with it that way. At least until I get the new uh, replacement dash instrument cluster or whatever you want to call it in. If I'm able to find the correct one and get it from a halfway decent reliable source. All right, so now I want to remove the mechanical tachometer odometer assembly from the rest of this, which looks like these two screws here might be able to hold that in. It's actually another part number on here. Sure, that's not available separately. 7970018C3. Yeah, that part number is not any good. I just moved this a little bit and it moved. Oh, that's extra crunchy. that just want to keep going that way and not back oh why, did I, why does that feel like that's not turning anymore I think that's now spinning on its own axis yeah I think I just broke it <laughs> there we go I just took the hand off so now I can and I can try and take out these two little screws which hold the metal uh Oops. Oh, that's just a piece of rust. This does not appear like it's made to be disassembled any further than this. There's two screws right here that if I took these screws out 
it almost looks like this cover would come off, but this cover can't come off this way unless this is out of the way. And this part of the frame is attached to this back part of the frame via these rivets. That's riveted in. So I do not think that uh, they intended for anybody to take this apart and do anything to it. Completely unserviceable. Although, I guess there's nothing that would stop us from just spraying a bunch of lube in there. Seeing what the heck, if anything, frees up. So I loosen these two screws just so I can move this cover forward and uh, knock out some more of the pieces of uh, chunks of rust that are in there. And then also that'll give me a little bit more, uh, expose this a little more so I can spray some, uh, some penetrant in there. And then I've got a uh, square drive bit that actually engages this back nicely. So I'll be able to uh, try and work that free. Well, I was able to uh, get this freed up so it rotates freely now, but uh, it's completely trashed because what I realize now when I look under magnification is that right down inside here, there is a clock spring and so a clock spring is uh, a spring that basically it's a spiral wound spring but the clock spring is like tied up in knots it appears that at some point when this failed probably what happened was this was no longer able to rotate and well actually this probably this disc, which is supposed to not be directly driven by this input shaft, became fused. And what happened was where this goes round and round and round, this is only supposed to go part way around. And what happened was when these two got locked together from the corrosion, this was going round and round and round and it wound that spring over itself over and over and over again and basically turned it into a mess and probably broke it off but it just looks like a uh, a rat's nest of uh fine wire in there but that's actually what's left of the clock spring you get this to focus you might be able to see it in there but it's uh it's uh it's what we call garbage <laughs> 